Mm. Women are so special that an average woman culture has not changed the whole dimension. Mm. We look we, we look at women as a secondary or inferior. No, men are not I mean superior to women. If you even check your Bible, God created man and woman equally. We are the same. Right. Now watch it. That's what I tell people. When you check through your Bible, God never commanded a woman to submit to a man. It's, it's never in the Bible. Mm. Why? Because women are not inferior to men. It mm. is only in marriage. Watch it. It is only in marriage. So anytime you hear the word submission, mm. it says, why? Submit to your own husband. <clears throat> Are you getting it? It's just like you coming to TV Africa. You mm. can have your master's, whatever. Your general manager may be a degree holder, but right. then when you decide to work here, mm. and we say, this is a general manager, you have to respect him. Right. Counselor, you were saying something. You understand? So, 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 I always tell people that today, culture has changed a lot of narrations. You understand? That women see themselves as secondary issue and matters and the rest. Mm. And perhaps when you get into marriage teachings proper, you begin to mm. appreciate the fact that that's right. why I tell men, the moment you marry, mm. you change yourself. So you were talking about submission. Is it, is submission is it's only in marriage. Check through the Bible. Anytime you hear the word, why? You can't even see the word submission mm. if you don't see the word wife. Wife, submit your own. Anybody, you can read Ephesians chapter 5, mm. verse 1 to is there. You can read First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Anytime you hear the word submission, say, why? Submit your own husband. For the moment you, you decide to marry, that's why today too, many people are also suffering in their marriage. Mm. Because marriage is an institution that God himself created. Mm. And he built it on his word. And the word of God is God himself. That's why even normal church Christian that for the most, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to use some way. Mm -hmm. It's a person who decides not to work on his marriage. Decides mm. to just behave in the marriage. And still go and sit in churches and worshiping God. You are a hypocrite. Mm. Why? Because God is marriage. So you can't just mismanage your marriage, disrespect your wife, mm. or help me call out and say, anything you do to your husband or to your wife, you are not doing to the person you are doing to God. For the command in marriage is not to because of your husband. Mm. There's nothing. God did not, like I said, build marriage around us. He built marriage around himself. So I know I tell people that marriage was designed by God to bring us back to him. Marriage mm. is for God himself. That's why marriage is so compulsory. That's what I'm very passionate about teaching to my wife because the day you decide to go into the marriage, mm. Lebanon, you have you you, you have you, you've changed your destiny. Yes. Now you don't normally read that when you find a wife, you mm. obtain favor. Which of means course. marriage now puts you at a higher level. Right. Just you marrying. And don't forget I just explain who a wife is. So it's not just any woman. See, marriage don't happen just when you are just paying the bride price. 